to have to have courage to come from the center of your truth and do it anyway that that's what this degree says to me welcome back before jumping in just a little bit more uh, about the Sabian symbols so when you when you know about um, the symbols you see each degree in a new light because each um, it's like a journey that the sign goes through and um, it starts in one place and there are steps that it goes through and they're really like um, they're five steps at a time and each time they go through those five there's 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 a beginning there's an arc um, there's some tension and then it's resolved and then you move on to the next five so one through five has a certain feel um, six through ten build on that um, and so on and so that is always going on what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the Sabian symbol for Libra 6. Let's just get to it. Let me go there now. A man watches his ideals taking a concrete form before his inner vision. And then these are the symbols and I think uh, Mr. Sambach, I, I think that he channeled these. I may be wrong. This information I got from him, but it is it is relevant. I do feel that it adds uh, a complexity to each of the degrees, and I'm going to read them. All right. Um, so we've got a baby with two sets of teeth. On a long voyage, many icebergs encountered. At land's end, a high rock and on it a tower. And a wandering landscape, searching for a canvas on which to dwell. So those are the images. That's the imagery. For me, uh, what I hear is, uh, and what I feel is, that our thoughts are really really strong right now um, during the first degrees of Libra there's a strong theme of seeing through I also have gemstones that are associated with each of these degrees and I find them to be relevant um, today for Libra it's uh, Libra 6 it's lazulite and it's um it's a watery type blue green stone libra is the butterfly that doesn't want to take sides <laughs> that wants to take from both ends see both sides and create something new uh, i.e., you know, a butterfly uh, t turning into turning into a butterfly, and also the mermaid is associated with Libra. So um, I have felt that very strongly, and the notes that I have is is seeing both sides, coming from the center, with an eye on both sides to get at the truth, um, to get at all of the truth. Um, for Libra 6 and to be incredibly clear about words and thoughts because um, when I read this it tells me uh, manifestation is very strong right now a great desire uh, becomes reality uh, creating something from nothing and now let's take a look at Aries 6, and then we're going to pull these together. Let me get to Aries. 
a square brightly lighted on one side. That's the main degree symbol. A square with one of its sides brightly illuminated. And then another, an actor forgets his lines, makes up new ones. An aquamarine in a woman's navel. Mathematical formulae on a blackboard are wiggling and dancing. So, um, my notes on Aries 6, um, black and white, seeing both sides clearly, um, trying to understand the other by noticing the differences, um, not accepting other people's values. Through your voice, again, there is a theme with a voice. Um, if you change the script, others will have to adapt. Um, if you don't change the script, that won't happen. So the power is with your voice and your thoughts. Um, and understanding and respecting the differences are there so that you notice them and you come from the center. Um, the, the navel is your center, okay? And the blue, uh, blue is um, truth, seeing through things. Um, there's a theme of acting. Um, when you, um, you're, you're, you're playing a role with Aries 6, um, when you first begin, Aries, Aries is the first sign of all the degrees. It's the beginning of the wheel. And Libra is, um, the second half of the wheel. And so... In the beginning, in the Aries, um, it's if you if you want something, you pretend first. You say this is who I am, and if you only go with other people's agendas, um, and you don't ever speak up and use your own voice and say this is what I want respectfully, of course. Um, this says to me we have the power to change and the emotional desire to change and the ability um, when you when you put these two symbols together I um, I love these I, I have a lot of respect for these um, they come to me in my dreams um, I um, I see these uh, the way that I have seen this particular uh, symbol today is I've noticed a lot of black and white uh, literally those colors black and white and um, a boxes and maybe you'll see a, a black photo or it's mostly dark and then there's a, a white flower in the corner um, so that's kind of one way that you this will play out um, there may be squares literally you'll see this um, and then through people's language people talking up and changing changing what they normally say it's like all of a sudden they're, they're you know they're they're changing the script Libra is a time it is wide open energy it's the beginning of um, it's it's a, a cardinal sign which means you can make big changes but um, it's easy to get trapped in an idea that um, we, we just think things never change so why why even bother and if you have that mindset, yeah, you're going to get that. But Libra and Aries are, are a time when you plant new seeds. Um, it may take time for them to come through. But if you don't plant them, they will never come through. The gemstone for Aries 6 is Galena. G-A-L-E-N-A. -E it's a grounding stone. It's it's beautiful interesting uh, not what I was expecting but yeah I have felt the need to uh, to be grounded um, so that that also came to me um, today and this other imagery on a long voyage many icebergs encountered I mean that's from Libra sex it says <laughs> there's gonna be bumps in the road <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's there on purpose 
so that you notice things, um, not to blow up and, you know, lose your cool, but just we're, we're meant to integrate shadowy parts, um, that we might not have noticed before in a way where we become something more, uh, not this or that, but we bring this and that together and it becomes more. That's what, that's what it says to me. That's what it means to be a butterfly. I've also noticed there's, there's a note about this and I did notice this today. Um, I, I ran out to the store for a little bit. Um, people with, um, physical issues like, um, things with their legs, but, and even a show I was watching, you know, the, uh, the actors, um, we're in wheelchairs <laughs> and that's the kind of thing you notice when you, when you start following these things, it's like you, you, you can't unsee it and you understand it's like, wow, this stuff really is here all the time. So, you know, maybe somebody who has Libra six strong in their, in their chart might work with people who have physical ailments, um, in their, if they're an artist, um, integrate some of these symbols in their art or, you know, do it in a way that is, um, that picks up on these, these pictures and they may not even realize they're doing it. Um, but it is in the news, it's in social media. Um, it's, it's, it's interesting once you, it's a way for you to notice, um, without having to know really anything about astrology other than um, know what your birth chart is, know where your sun sign, you know, know where your signs are, know what the numbers are. So it might say Libra six uh, degrees, 53 minutes. And that's really all you need to know. Um, and what Linda has said, and it's true, is the energy is prevalent the day of, so Libra six, also the day before and the day after. So it's, um, sometimes I feel them more strongly the, the day before, but, um, it's, the energy is there for about three days. When you, when you track them, your vision will open up in a way where you notice things in your life that you didn't before. And it's fun to me. It's kind of like a game. It's like, I find it interesting because I always want to know how things tick and why they tick. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Subscribe for more. Take care.